So we got a new live record coming out this September, and we've been recording all of our live shows since 2013, which makes about a dozen or so shows here at the Ryman because we've been doing New Year's Eve every year. Basically the best standing gig anybody could have. When we first came to town, to Nashville, Tennessee, all we wanted to do was play the Ryman Auditorium, and it took a lot of steps to get here. And those steps started right out here in the alley because, you know, we started on the curb and slowly kind of worked our way up. It's been really interesting seeing the evolutions of songs over that time and how we're different and how we sound different, we play different, but we're still those same guys that were on the street corner just over there playing for dollars in the guitar case not that long ago. Uh, our history is just tied in with the Ryman, almost from the get-go. We started in 98, so it was a couple, two, three years before we played the Ryman, so I mean, it's been with us forever. Come to think of it, 2001 was our Opry debut at the Ryman with Marty Stewart. And the very first show that I played with Old Crow was in this building. It was the 75th anniversary of the Opry, and they were doing an all-day radio show, and we were playing at probably 9 a.m., and Marty Stewart was there and he brought us out and he played with us and that was the first time I'd ever played. I'd just thrown my bass in the car, went to my day job for a couple hours, left to come here, just walked down the alley to play here, walked in those back doors for the first time. All of a sudden we were, you know, opening up for artists and then doing the Bluegrass series and then, uh, and then finally uh, doing our own ticketed shows here at Ryman. Then we started doing the New Year's Eve concerts and you know, lo and behold, 20 years later, it became a hometown gig. Playing at the Ryman Auditorium for me is so special because it's, it's so antique and so much history is enriched in it. From the stage to the pews to the ceiling, it's all wooden and for me it feels like playing inside of an acoustic guitar. It's my favorite venue in town and it's just very much like coming home. It became the place that Old Crow Medicine Show really feels like they belong, the stage that we most like to play, the stage that is so treasured in our hearts that we wish that there were a lot of other places like this, but nobody really stacks up. I am enjoying being here. I've loved uh, sound check today and honestly any day you can spend at the Ryman it is the mother church for a reason the history here is you can just you can feel it in the air catch and I grabbed coffee about six months ago he mentioned that they would be up for having me join and tour with them this year the first thing I thought was oh my gosh they always play the Ryman on New Year's Eve I might be able to play that gig and I've been living in Nashville for 13 years and I've yet to have the chance to catch this gig because I'm usually gigging myself and so it's a really cool full circle moment for me. It's funny uh, for me to talk about this album because I'm kind of getting in in the 11th hour. Uh, anything we record tonight that gets uh, included on the final record will be my only contributing part to the album. I'm a newer member of the band. It's really cool finally to have put together this Live from the Ryman record. It's It showcases all these many years that we've been playing here. We've culled our recordings from like 12 or 15 years of playing here. So there's old stuff and new stuff and just right now stuff. But anytime you play at the Ryman, you know, something something happens. It's, it's a spiritual place and it pulls something out of you that I think is in the heart of every woman and man. I think there's a collective spirit here that is put in place by people like this and, and all of the hundreds and hundreds of singers and comedians and actors and speakers and politicians and show folk, plays and ballets and all the rest. It's the mother church of country music, but it's a whole lot more. It's the most important musical venue in Nashville, Tennessee. Bye -bye.